suppose you make similar kind of video every single day just like me so i am making tutorials right so there isn't a lot of changes when i'm making the video the lighting is the same the audio setup is same so if you're making similar kind of video every single day then if you edit the audio or if you color grade the video manually every single time it will kill a lot of time so you can make preset in adobe premiere pro and you can just click and drag that preset on top of your video and the edit will be done automatically so today i'm going to show you how you can make your own preset in adobe premiere pro so that you can save a lot of time so here is a video that i have opened i am going to make a color grading preset for this video so that i can reuse it right so just select the video that you want to color grade then go to window and from here you can go to lumetri color panel then this panel will pop up and from here you can color grade the video so if you don't know how to color grade the video i'll suggest you to watch my color grading videos i have made a couple of video regarding the color grading so i will just make a very basic and very quick color grading here um, as i have recorded the video in hlg 3 format then i am just using a color transform preset which is this one limiting lot okay i'm using this one so i have to increase the exposure i have to increase the contrast a little bit and from here i can just decrease the highlights a little bit shadows then i'm just decreasing the blacks to make it a little bit contrasty just like that and i am just opening lumetri color scope and from here i am just adjusting the color temperature again from creative i'm adding sharpness then i'm adding some vibrance so that is the before and that is the after right and again if you want to do more color grading you can add another lumetri color and from here you can separate the skin tone and you can add a little bit orange tone here on the skin tone again i'm just copying the lumetri color and from here i'm selecting the third one and from here i'm just inverting it so that it just select the background right now i will add blue or teal type tone here on the background i'm just adding the color in the shadow section just like that i'm adding yellow tone here in the mid tone so that's it that is my color grading if i show you the before this is the before and this is the after right it is looking pretty good so these are the three effects that i have used here on my color grading process right so when i'm recording a video if i do it every single time it will kill a lot of time so how you can make a preset out of these effects that you have applied so select the effects that you want to make a preset of i'm selecting this one then pressing ctrl i'm selecting this one this one so these are the three effects that i have selected now you can just right click here and then you can click here on save preset you can name it i am just naming it studio color grading right and from here I i'm just clicking on ok so my preset have been made so if you want to use the preset you have to go to effects then if you go to here on this folder here you'll see there is an effect called studio color grading right or you can just search the effect that you have said studio color then this effect will pop up now you can just click and drag this effect whenever you want to use that for the demonstration i am just deleting the effect from this video now there isn't any color grading effect applied on this video so whenever you record a new video if you want to apply the color grading you can just click and drag this effect on top of your video and if you want to do some minor tweaking then you can again go to lumetri color and from here you can continue editing your video or doing the color grading so just like that if you want to make a preset for your audio you can also do that you can just search for the audio effect that you want to use suppose i want to use denoise i'm just searching 
denoise and clicking dragging this effect will be applied here on this clip and from here we can change the amount that's it right so if you want to make a preset including the lumetri color and the denoise you can select all of the effect that you want to use and then you can make a preset you can name it and it will be baked in together and again when i'm making a tutorial you see i'm just using a rounded masking technique right so how you can do that you can just make a opacity mask and from here you can click and drag it and when you are dragging you can press shift on your keyboard so that is the mask right i'm just changing the feather to zero so that is the mask suppose you want to do this thing automatically how you can do that select the opacity then select the lumetri color preset that you have applied and again if you want to include the denoise select it then right click and then go to say preset make it suppose i'm renaming it one 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 four one right clicking okay it will be applied now i'm just deleting this effect that i have applied so that i can show you so this is the video that i have imported here on this project suppose i want to make a rounded mask along with the color grading and the denoise effect i have to go to here on this folder and from here i will see this is the effect that i have made if i just click and drag this effect here it will be done automatically you don't need to do anything right so that is the power of making your own preset and i hope you'll make your own preset and you will save some time when you are editing the video in adobe premiere pro so that's all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye <laughs>